the decision is not to be made on the basis of economic returns singularly. The decision really must be made on our addressing the stewardship we are obligated to exercise for an environment which has been God given to us in such a pristine condition. Because as I look back over things I did in tourism, I spent so much of my life in long hours extolling Eden Rock, Balboa, uh, Soto's Reef, and the shore dive opportunities for stayover and cruise tourism visitors. This project will effect effectively reduce them to zero. Fundamental for me is the notion of irre irreversibility. That's what's fundamental for me. We can fix cars, and we can repair houses. We cannot glue the environment together. Now we tried, and I've been looking at that all over the world, but we can't do it because we didn't make it in the first place. So I try to, re to reason that in, in 2015, we are expecting two million, perhaps plus, cruise visitors. And the product that we sell them, invariably, the Stingray City or these three dive sites. So I'm wondering, when we do this project, do we understand that the product that we market now will not exist? And then what? So it is, a, it is one of the largest decisions this country will make for many years. I'm coming down on the side of what will our legacy be when future generations look back at us and to see whether we in fact carried out our duty under the Constitution to care for the environment.